back again took the piece turned it over got to drill an eighth inch hole for the piston support rod piston rod support this measurement is one and three quarters of an inch up from the bottom so we'll start with a center drill and move on to an eighth inch drill That's it as far as drilling holes in this piece. Now uh, the only thing left is uh, do some work on the lathe and this will have to get rounded off on the, others, uh, the other plane. Uh, I believe that's a quarter inch radius. So, so what we have here is all the holes are drilled out. The set screw hole is tapped if you remember from uh, previously. So now I'm going to turn this down uh, between these areas make this round I gotta, gotta make a tool bit of some sort to uh, make these little profiles probably grind some high speed steel and after that uh, after those are made I'll turn this taper down um, using the tail stock to offset it. Okay, so I'll come back and with a left-handed tool and um, get rid of that. I'll probably do that off camera. All right, I'm totally winging this now. I gotta, I gotta cut this profile, uh, a concave and a convex uh, profile, both sides. So I've come up with this idea. I'm going to grind the piece of high-speed steel uh, with a, a male and a female or a, a convex and a concave profile. And I'm going to have to make a mirror image for the other side. I uh, thought about putting the, flipping the tool over and moving it on the back side but I don't think I have enough room to do that um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a set of these uh, profile uh, cutters uh, tool bits and now we're talking about an eighth inch where are we here get it in focus That's about an eighth inch diameter, so a sixteenth of an inch radius. Uh, it's kind of small stuff. So I'm going to grind it. That's a piece of quarter inch high speed steel. 
I'm going to grind it out with my Dremel tool. And let's see what uh, how this goes. So I made a test cut. I got that piece all cut. I put some reliefs on the side. Made a test cut on a piece of scrap. If you guys can see that. So I'm pretty happy how that came out. We went that way. So I'm going to go ahead. I got everything locked down and going to profile that shape. And then with the mirrored tool bit, I'll come back and do that one. Uh, thing I've noticed is it requires a little bit of lubrication so the aluminum doesn't stick. Um, so I put a little A9 on there and let's get going. Keep our fingers crossed this comes out good. Got a lot of work into that piece already. Got those turned down both sides and next step will be to put this back in the lathe. I'm going to turn it between centers. I'll offset the tailstock and turn this taper down. 